day to get him in? He was really saying like this week. I know he was saying, um, you know, he want to get the, you know, have the jeans launched by the end of the month. And when you go ahead and finalize the logo, I'd also ask members need to come together and choose the ones they want to use. You know, finalize it and go ahead and start putting the using toys. You know, putting the print on the actual <laughs> jeans and then getting them produced because you know the nigga jeans, they being around Christmas time. You know, we want to try to have them ready by then for the holiday season. He's saying it's gonna be so much money that it's gonna be, it's gonna be you know a whole lot of people wanting to buy these jeans. So it's really oh, gonna take off. Mm-hmm. Uh, so for now, you guys. I got one. Mm-hmm. I got a. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I'm sorry, you weren't finished. No, I was saying. So for now, I can just take you guys' email address. I got yours just now, Anthony. I mean, I, mean, I get. Yes, I got got yours too, Anthony. And then we, I can say what yeah, you have, and then 19, tomorrow. 7? Yep, yep. So we can kind of can choose, and I can let him know what we got. As long as I let him know what we're doing, we're trying to be working towards something. You know, that we're we working together as a, you know, a team. And, uh, you know, trying to come up with a, you know, a, you know, using our collective minds to come up with a, a, a good idea and envision and, and execute and make it come through. So that's where we at. Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, I was going to ask Charles. I was just going to ask, like, once we finally get, um, the, okay, we get the logo selected, and then we, we find out um, what, are we going to be using a material, or are we going to try to make a prototype first for to put on display to advertise? Is that what we I want done you. by December? Yeah. Um, that sounds logical, really more logical. Okay. Yeah, because December, I guess it's only a, I guess it's a couple of weeks away anyway, so we're kind of right there. And, you know, we just want to really just start finalizing it so we can start seeing some actual, you know, details with it, you know, like the next phase to it. Right. Okay. Yeah, I got you guys' so, email address, okay, and so- I'm going to send you guys the logos. You know, but I'm letting mother be working, right. you know, because I, I, I guess his phone right now, he did want to have a meeting in, in regards tonight and did want to talk about the directions of everything, what's the status on the logos. But he, his phone is going straight to voicemail now, so maybe right, we can try right. to get in the hour. Yep, yep. Stuff happens, you know, with the situation he in, well, you know, I understand, so... If we can get if we can get back on the call, because you know I was just talking to him, so I do know the call dropped, something happened. So, and you know, mm-hmm. he got a lot of his situations be so random. That's <laughs> why so I was like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, hard yeah, to yeah. have us a good call on, because you never know. Our two Ray gonna have to be on the move, and with somebody around mm-hmm. him gonna need his attention and all that, because they got people with him too, right? Yeah, yeah, always yeah, busy. So they. Yeah, so I'm like, man, it, it's always something demanding his attention regardless. That's why I was like, I was happy to speak to him a little bit of time I could to get the things out about the, the project that I was trying to share. Um, right, right. Okay. So I did get that out. Uh, however, I did. I just told him I was going to do some investigating through my company about how much it's going to cost. So I, my, my thing is, is once I find out how much it's all going to cost and everything, I would probably, like I said, get the first prototype done of a pair of pants or something that I can get done. You know, and I, I, I want to make sure <clears throat> um, that I show you guys that, um, yeah, you know, as soon as I get that done, I'm going to let you know how much they charge and if they can do a bulk order. Okay. If y'all want to go through them. Or somebody, you know, we can shop around and try to call other people, or we could try to get with a manufacturer in China <laughs> and get the pants and the jeans material from them. Yeah, you know, then the material know. per se. Yeah, you think about, you know, um, is it going to fade? You know, the quality of it, you know, it's gonna be like it's going to fit you, or you know, what I'm saying just, I guess I'm more concerned about the fading part, you know, as far as the system they use. So the colors are like there was um, yellow, two other colors. So yeah, uh, orange, purple, and white. That's my concern too. Yeah, 
that's my concern too about the stitching and is it gonna be, you know, does it have to stay those colors once it go through multiple washes? So people love quality jeans. And they pay for quality jeans. Yes, they do. I don't wanna just do jeans though, I wanna do sweat too. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can see socks. I see that for real. Mm-hmm. I can see socks. I'm doing um, nigga jeans. Put me on the phone where everybody can hear me real quick. Hey, hey, no. Okay, everybody on. Um, you know. Anthony out there? Yes. Hey, family, what's going yeah. on? Shout it out. 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 Hey, there goes my sister. Yeah. <laughs> there's my daughter. There we go. There's my yes, niece. So you know it, <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I love you. How you doing, sis? Hey, guess, Ty, guess what? What's, up, what's, what's going on? Tell me. I'm going to come see you. I'm going to die to love that. Let me tell you something. I hope you so hard. Spend, I'm, listen, I'm going to spend one day. I'm going to pack me some peanut butter jelly sandwiches. And we're going to sleep out. We're going to camp out. We're going to have a blast. And I can't wait to do it. Peanut butter and jelly time. Peanut butter and jelly time. What the hell? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, uh, man, I like it. I like a little bit of peanut butter, a lot of jelly. You have to be, you know, <laughs> let me tell you something. Long time ago, I ate butter and honey. Years Ooh. back, I'm talking about 2000 or so. Now, listen, and my brother Bodie, he said he said to me, well, you know, they said right here, you know, you used to eat butter and honey. I said, well, I'm still eating butter and honey right here today. He said, well, what do you eat butter and honey? I said, peanut butter and jelly. You didn't know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. See, the butter and jelly is the same thing, honey. You see, so it's the same thing, especially if you alphabetically sound with, with, with doing what you do, you know. But, uh, right, yeah, right. I, I love peanut butter and jelly. And that's what I eat. It is the breakfast for champions, lunch for champions, and dinner for champions. <laughs> 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 I don't have no problem I don't care whether it's a steak or, 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 or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I don't care whether well, it's a shotgun or a It don't matter to me. Just so long as it gets done what we need to do with it, you know. It's just, we well, got a roof over our heads. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If, a, if I'm living in a phone, in a phone booth, everybody got to move over and let one of mine's in. And, and move right. over and make some... <laughs> Let them all come in. I have to, I have to go. Bless the heart. Come in. I'll give them all a hug. We'll be up in the group hugging all 24 and 7. Be so crowded in there. I wouldn't care. Be small and nice about it. We love it. Sure. That's what we do. That's how you do it. You know. But I guess sister, I'll be, it'll be a joy to have you. That's the rule. Well, you, you know what? It's on my mind. Well, I'm it's on my mind. I'm going to make it happen. I have to. Are you leaving? But, yeah, I'm going to leave California. I'm, I'm, I don't know. Sometimes I look around, I don't see no love. I mean, no matter yeah, how much that. love I give them. I, 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 no matter how much love I give them, you know, the, the, the misinterpretation of what to do with love seems like, you know, the people who love them, they do them, like, treat them like, they, like, 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 like doo-doo off the ground. And the ones that don't love me, they show them, they, they, they show them kindness and compassion. I'm not understanding why it's so backwards. You know what I mean? Here it is. You got somebody showing you love, and you want to rob him or steal from her. I mean, yeah. Lord have mercy. What's wrong with you? You just got it all backwards and all twisted. And it's not a shame. It's a damn shame. So all I can do is say something. You know, and that's the most I I think people see well, love as a weakness. Yeah, they do. These love days. Is a weakness. Yeah. And that's just, don't take kindness for weakness. You should take kindness and learn to mind it. Because you don't mind somebody sometime a day and night too, you know. But they they wrong as two left shoes, three sizes too small. You know, the corns and buttons on their feet. Tight tree. Now, let me tell you something. Tight shoes will make you tell the truth. Huh. Yeah, they would. Tight shoes to make you tell the truth. You'd be like, my feet hurting. <laughs> <laughs> my feet hurting. Yeah, That's right. You know what it is? It's arrogance. You just told, hit the nail right on the head. Let me tell you something. It's uh, the face of arrogance. Listen now. And the face of he or she who knows, who sits opposite 
of he or she who does not know. See, sometimes we're a similarity. However, they're different in every way, even though the similarity may be there because he or she who knows their face is quite different from those who don't. But And they may appear to be arrogant only because they've been given. But that is a mistake that is made by most. You know, they look towards those who know as if the arrogance is in place. Well, indeed, it's not an arrogance that you see on their face. It's a, no, I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about those who know. Those who know the, the power of the most high. Those who know what's right from wrong. Those who know up from down. Those faces, though it may appear to be arrogant, what you're seeing is the face of joy. You know, because it's better to know than to not know. Because, Lord, have mercy, the ignorance is overwhelming amongst all. They've ignored facts after fact after fact and lost covenant after covenant after covenant to the point that here today that another covenant has been given, which is, you know, sure they do right, you know, the little, the little brother of the who it is I am. But if they lose this one, Lord, have mercy on the poor thing. It's not a shame, it's a damn one. Because they're going to figure it out real quick when the sky gets real dark. And they don't miss their water till the well runs dry. I know many of them going to miss me for real when I leave these grounds. They're going to look around one day and I'm not going to be here for them like I am right now. And it's a very tough decision because I know where they know not that if indeed I choose to leave this place, the I am maps is a thing. Oh. The I am maps is a certainty. Yeah. I got some coffee calls. And I don't know how many know what the I am maps are. How many of you know what the I am maps are? I don't. Does anybody know on the coffee call? I know. I know. I've, I've seen the I am uh, yeah, maps. What is it? Tell me what it is. It's Tell a map all. that shows what the United States of America is going to look like after a certain date. It shows, uh, I've seen Texas flooded, Florida flooded. I've seen um, San Francisco was off. California was broken up into islands. It was... Um, the I am map show what this continent will look like after California is gone and exists no more. The, the western coast will start somewhere around Phoenix, Arizona. For real. Because what's going to happen as far north as Crescent City all the way down to uh, uh, past San Diego on out to into the Pacific Ocean, stopping 100 yards away from a place called Solomon's Island. You're talking about 10.5 on the Richter scale. They will first hit it a 6.5 just to get their attention. And I told him, when the ground starts shaking, if you can't remember nothing else, nigga, get the Highway 80 and start walking. Don't drive. And walk up north towards Fairfield. Fairfield, and Keep yes, looking to the left. left. Keep looking to the left because that strip of land is called the Plains of Megadu or Amongeddon. Don't believe me. Go sit back and watch a while. On that day, because a long time ago, there was a place called Solomon the Moor, you know. And the order then was to not turn around. Mm-hmm. One of our good, dumb ones, Lord have mercy. You disobeyed the order, and now she's on the table with, with pepper. Why? Because salt and pepper pushed it real good. Salt and pepper pushed it real good. Real good. And only a few made it out, but the prophet who was in charge of that project a long time ago, his, his name was Lot. We're here today. A lot will make it out. 
in the order to this day, this day will be turn around and never forget what you see here today. Never forget as I hold my hands up in the air and put them down, you'll see San Francisco go into the water. And from that golden gate will come so many crabs. Choo, 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 choo. And the golden gate is not gold, damn it. It's arms. Got them. Stupid motherfuckers. They are. They are. They are. Orange is a neutral color, which allows the higher vibrations to swing through. Purple and violet. Violet is the most violet of the two. Let me tell you something. When you see violet in the sky, it is a fire burning hotter than you all have ever experienced. The fire burning so hot. Literally. And San Francisco will exist no more. The Sodom and Gomorrah of today. If I leave California soil. So it's a it's a very complex situation because I don't want to see all them lives have to be made or something. That gave me a good time to realize who walks amongst them. It's a sad situation because on this planet there's no such thing as strangers on the Blue Rock. There's only friends and family you haven't met yet. However, look at what they do. Lord, have mercy. Look how far they have fallen. Fertility is what the war is being fought over. I told them. And in alchemy, there's three precepts. That which is not must be presented first. Anything that stands in representation of a thing is indeed a thing. And the smallest things carry the most power. So... What were they after? Our fertility. That's why and how the bunny rabbit got placed at Easter. And nobody told nobody this. Why? Because they're not alchemists like the who it is I am. They had not the eye to see it. No one can tell you amongst you why the bunny rabbit at Easter until me. The E and the A is interchangeable in the ancient language. So when you say Easter, you say Ashtar. Same thing. Easter, Astor, Easter, Astor, same thing. And why the bunny rabbit? Because the bunny rabbit stood in representation of fertility, which is what they were after. Our fertility. And they gained a large portion, which is why you don't see any Nubian sister at the bus stop here today holding one child in the, in the stroller and one child in the arm and one child holding a leg and another child holding another child. You don't see that here today because it's gone from the time when the Amorite sister or the European sister suffered from no acetal. And now baby got back is what you're saying. Damn, that woman got a butt like a sister. Some of them got butts just as beautiful and even more. But our sister, the dark skin ones, wounds are being closed. Where children are coming through. And that's a definite sign that their alchemy has gotten up and grown legs and is now walking, which is what they wanted it to do. What do I mean by that? Well, let me explain. Bunny rabbits don't lay eggs, damn it. And they now one of them took the time to see as you would go out on the Easter egg hunt. And what the hell did a bunny rabbit and an edge have to do with the resurrection of the Messiah? No one, no one, not once stood up in the church and asked or disputed and cried out with a common sense. Why? Because common sense sometimes is the hardest sense to have. Because it's common. It's like looking for a soul. you right there in your face, but you just don't see it, child. You just don't see it. How sad it is. So, there was in your face, you didn't know why were the eggs placed in hiding spots. 
And why were you, as Nubian people, made to find them on Easter egg hunts? And why did the eggs have to be colored, damn it? I'll tell you why. Because that which is not must be presented first. So the eggs had to be white. And every time a colored person found one, our fertility was being transferred from our ethnic net over into theirs. And their women went from no acetal to baby jack that. Now it's time to get back some of that. And I'm going to tell you how it's done. We're going to put together Easter eggs on our own. But all the eggs going to be white. We're going to have white folks find them. And our sisters will have more babies after that. Are y'all understanding me? Yes. Need I say more? Sure. No. Because it's so clear to an alchemist. You all couldn't see. And that should be another sign to let you know that indeed I am. Motherfuckers are crazy if they think I ain't. I feel sorry for them. Poor things. The riches of them all. Richness is the, determined by natural wealth. Gold, platinum, natural resources. Wealth is determined by that. Good. My mother's on another line. I just threw Brandy. She don't want to hear this. Hold on, I'll tell you all now. Hold on. Hmm. Let me show. Okay. Hey, so it just kicked in to me. Fertility eggs. I just I just got a moment here. So, Get you on out? No, she, I don't know how to merge it. Well, I can't do that. Let's see if we can merge it. My mama, my Umi will be calling in, uh, Brandon. You got to do him. Okay. How's that funny? You can sink your sense when I'm running my mouth. What's that song? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. I said, are you going to come set with that soon, right? My daughter, you on the phone? Let her sit there. See you on the phone. Brandon, what you done done? Who on here with me? You don't have no more now. No, well, I'm here. It may have dropped. Okay, Anthony on. Okay. You got a sister. Is she on the phone? She may have dropped. She may have dropped. She may have dropped. She may have dropped. Tell Brandon to do, 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 do his diligence. Get us all on here. Yeah. I don't have your mom you with me. Okay. What's that? Huh? I'm in that. I'm in that. Mm-hmm. She couldn't stay long. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm in that left. I'm here. The next time you do, you say, you say, you know, so long. You know, no, say shut it up. Never say bye. Say it again. I didn't hear your Say car. so long. That's what we say. We say so long. Shalom. Don't never say bye to somebody. That's, it. That's too final. You say so long. So long. Okay, got it. So long. Oh, you say shut it up. Peace and love. I'm creating okay. another language, you all, out the language of the Shadadatan tribe. Let me explain. Brandon, did you call the Native American uh, League today? Brandon, are you here? Or are you Patrick I'm, I'm working on it. Yes, I'm, I'm looking into it. Well, I definitely get, I'm working on it. I'm making calls, reaching out. By, by, by Salonto Fudger, the breaking forth of the dawn, when them people wake up, and they, the first thing, as soon as they walk in the door, as the Native American leaves, I want you to be the first call. Yes, sir. And I want you to have your stuff ready. We're going to talk to them well. You tell them you're calling as a representative of Chief Little Black Eagle. 
of the Saladatin tribe. They're going to say, what tribe? And you'll say, the Saladatin tribe, a tribe that you all have never heard of. This is why we're here, to introduce ourselves to our family members, and we will. Check this out. Not be recognized, but realized. In the same way, every Native American tribe is realized here today. Why? Because we are direct descendants of the Shoshone. And you let them know that this is what your chiefs say. And if indeed they deny it, we will, we will, man, we're going to make a whole lot of noise. A whole lot of noise. They're going to see us as authentic because we are the true black Indians, the establishers of America. Amen. Inca. Amen. Inca. You better listen to what I'm saying. I'm going to wish that they listen one time later. I'm not playing with them. Neither should you. You hear me? Yes, sir. You know what I said? True. True. We're going to create a new language. I'm creating a new flag, a new, have a new constitution. I'm going to rewrite the code of Hammerambi. Govern us with laws that are fair and just. And then you'll all understand why I am Pharaoh and what Pharaoh really means. Light bringer to the house. Shine light on a dark situation. There are many here today are suffering in that darkness by walking into walls, not realizing that if they just closed their eyes, the walls would disappear. How limited they are when their eyes are open. How limitless they become when they just close them and bow their heads and turn to them. I've been saying these things now for years. I will continue to talk. Just some more, not much. Because I intend for us to show the world not what we're saying anymore, but what we're what? Doing. I ain't scanning them. You know, many times people say, you got to tone it down. Then I'm at too late. <laughs> My tone is down there, everybody got the chair. So I yell it out from the highest mountaintop because where one might not be listening, standing here in front of me, the one way over there yeah. just might hear. Yeah. And we might, yeah, way over yonder just might hear and come and run, come and run home so we can all embrace them. I posted a post out today. I told the entire Nwapi nation just how much, how sound is your right reasoning if indeed you are not a member of the Osiris and you are not with us? Just how sound is your right reasoning? Because by now you should all know. They know. They just don't want to admit it. I can't wait for the day that I see polite face to face so I can slap all the spit out of his mouth. Move his whole living room furniture, all his, listen, dining room set out for being a homosexual that he is talking to my people like he's somebody. Polite in New York with my Uncle Obama. These niggas is crazy. I'm going to Bushwick Avenue and take back the Kaaba. You niggas are selling my father's book at six hundred dollars a copy of the Holy Tablets on the net. Nigga, where you get Jakina, where you get your Range Rover and you ain't even got a job? I know where you've been robbing Bob. That's when I'm gonna turn the bookshelves over and tell him to get the fuck out. And don't come back. Y'all ready for this? Because this is how your leader, your hey, chief is rolling. Because let me tell you something, anybody who's a coward and a punk, stand over there because you ain't going to be nothing but in my way. 
But if your heart is wrong, raw, and you ain't know now, then you know what to do and you'll know what to say. Come hold tight to the hip, my God. And fear you nothing as we walk through the shadows of the valley of the dead. Fear ye nothing, because my rod and staff will guide you. Always have, always will. Been there even when you didn't know I was. I know you feel me. I love you too. I love you for real, niggas. Mud! Live one. <laughs> yes, sir. Never one of y'all wouldn't care if you was a piss pot, a baby kid. If your boogers was running down, I wouldn't care what you was. If your diaper was hanging low with the bar, you know. I'm not having empty to pamper out. I'll pick you up in the bush. Love the smell of your stench. Every bit of it. And wipe your diaper clean and wipe your butt clean also. Wipe it away as the messiah that I am. Love is a very many splendid thing. Lord have mercy. You don't get no better than this child. How many times I got to tell you? I tell you after a while. After a while. Hold on one second. I got to come see who these fools are. No long. Do you have anybody moving along? Chief, Chief said hold on, didn't he? Did he say hold on? Yes. Yeah, he said hold on. All right, all right. I, just, I wanted to make sure I heard him right. I'm in a noisy truck. Well, Anthony, I'm ready to kick over some bookshelves, too, so we have to start doing some sparring with you. Get back in shape. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm talking about. You got to get you a... Uh, you gotta go to the um the fitness the uh, I don't know what kind of store y'all got down there for fitness. But get you uh fitness. something like a kick pad, get you like a kick pad. No, 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 I'm talking about buy some equipment to where you can do this at home in the privacy of your own home. <clears throat> that way you and you know, your husband can help you. He can hold the pad, you can hit the pad, he can hold it for you. You can kick it. You can do everything. Just get everything to get get it right on that. And by him moving around with the pad, it's gonna work your stamina over real good because you gotta follow him and kick it. You are gonna have to follow him and punch it. You know what I mean? That that takes that takes your energy a lot uh, more than a heavy pad. Yeah, I'm gonna need some endurance because I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep on going and going and going. I'm sick of oh, yeah. y'all. I've been fired Tommy. up for years about this. You gotta time yourself too. I, I like to um, I like to just go until I can't go no more, and then I check the clock. And when I check the clock, you usually gonna surprise yourself. You be like, dang, I went nonstop for eighteen, twenty minutes. You know, and then you learn to block out time when you fight or when you put forth that kind of energy. So it helps me. Stay calm, you know what I mean? Put on some, put on some yeah. good music or something and just hit the bags nonstop or hit the pad nonstop or hit the mitts nonstop or do whatever until you reach a point of exhaustion. <clears throat> you find out what your limit is. And then you push past that limit the next go around. You look at the clock when you get done. If it ain't past the old time, you turn that clock back on and get past the old time. Well, pretty much, I think about kicking over, kicking over the bookshelves. I can't fight no dudes. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get all messed up. I just want to go over and knock over some bookshelves. <laughs> hey, I'm pretty sure when, when we go in there cooking in, bu- cooking, when we're kicking bookshelves over, we're going to have to bust somebody's head because they ain't going to just let us do it. <laughs> yeah, you don't know why they ain't going to let you do it? Because you're taking away their livelihood. Bunch of mm-hmm. leeches, that's what they are. 
The suck of my father's blood drop. The damn shame. No, I don't like him, don't like him, never did, never will. You mess with Bobby, you messing with me. And I'm telling you right now, I don't play when it comes to mine. Especially the father. <clears throat> no. The days of them robbing him is over. When I get to New York, they better watch out. I'm coming in full military garb. That's another thing. I'm going to have to redesign the ceremonial garb, day-to-day garb, and the military garb. The military garb going to be so fly. Woo! Niggas, we going to be I looking can't wait. good. We going to be yeah. looking good. You know what I mean? I'm talking about fresh, new shit. They're, they're, you know, not taken away from, only adding to. All the symbols right there. I have the upright crescent, mm. the six-pointed star, and yeah, no yeah. doubt that I'm a five-star general. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm going to have them five stars running across the arm. Yeah, I'm on the shoulder. And oh, we don't have the march. This way. Motherfuckers ain't going to be playing. We're going to be serious about it. And then we do the dance of the fellows, those white dance, the brothers up on the stage. But you might win one. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to teach them something to do. Something to be proud of. You're going to be so proud of me, and I'm going to be so proud of you. We all going to look at each other and cry. Tears of joy, child. You hear me? For Davis has long been waiting. I can see that, too. Hmm. For Davis has long been waiting. As we bring our family back together again. All the Negroes gonna have so much to say. And it's really gonna hurt their feelings when Bible come home and they say, Yeah, stupid ass he is the Messiah. You should listen mm-hmm. to him. Mm-hmm. Gonna hurt their feelings enough. You see? You know, on that day the one thing I do is be humble and even the ones who wanted to call me and names to talk bad about me. The one thing I won't say, as I look at him and love him anyway, you see, I told you. I'm just going to let it go. And I'm going to smile and hold my head up high with dignity. I'm walking to Pharaoh now. As I go set up on the dome that Bob has prepared for me. And that day, each of you will be there. Y'all gonna see something. You're gonna see eagles flying everywhere. Then you know how great a thing is happening. Right there, wherever we may be. And who knows at this particular junction. But I know where the Sermon on the Mount will be held. If I know nothing else, I've known that now for years. Carson, Georgia. Carson, Georgia, Red Clay Hills. Yeah, I love y'all. You feel me? Love you too. Yeah, I feel you y'all. Love you too. Ooh. Well, we're sitting here. Chief, Chief, I got a question. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. The thing. T- Can you hear me? Yeah, his call dropped. Oh, man, no. <laughs> I was just it's curious to ask him about, the, uh, the, about uh, the Sermon on the Mound in San Francisco. That's a, that's all. I just wanted to know that. Which one was I need to know where yeah, I need man, to be at. <clears throat> You going to call? Hello? Y'all there? I'm here. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, call just I, thought, I thought everybody called drop. Okay. Well, we got to get him back. You, you, you going to try to get him back in here? Yeah, I'm calling. You know he'd be on the move. So while he walking and stuff, you know, he changing signals because he on the move. He, you know, he's in motion. Yeah, he he's going to right say the voice, man. <clears throat> yeah, that's what it is. He ain't got no signal. He ain't got no hey, hey guys. My, I have six just sitting on my phone, so my call is going to drop as well. So, okay. Um, <laughs> keep me abreast. 
I want to hang up now. And I say okay. so long, correct? I like a plan. I appreciate you. I'm emailing out those um, logos so you can take a look at it. We can start voting on the best logo for the, the gene line. I have a logo on the mailbox. Just, just, just have to find the key. Someone else sent me a logo mm. as well. Okay. Well, it was nice here for you. All right. Nice here for you again, Anthony. Job safety, safe. Oh, you already Brandy. know. I, I, it's a pleasure. Every time we, we link up, every time we link up, I can't wait for us to be, everybody be in the same room so we can have a big party. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> to the you know. Song. Right. All right. Please. Shout it out, sisters. Right. Okay. Shout, right, out. shout it out, y'all. Shout it out, brother. Shout Talk out. to you later. Shout out everybody oh, else yeah, before you got six on the line. Uh, Roger, uh, brother Roger, too. I forgot he was on the line. Yeah. yeah shout it out, big bro. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Peace. Shout it out. Peace.